a blessed time in the Lord, a Holy Ghost get together, a Holy Ghost party in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. So today I do give honor to God who is the head of my life and the head of your life. I thank God for all that he's doing for us. I thank God for his goodness, for his grace. I thank God for just being God. Amen. And we're going to get ready to get into the word of God. And we we may just at some point play a song. And, you know, it's almost like when you're not in the house of God, um, the song service, you know, I, I, I kind of miss the song service. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. I'm, I'm missing the song service. Praise God. So, amen. Um, Pastor, if you got uh, another song, you know, we, we need to keep, I'm, I'm finding myself, I hear a lot of stuff and then it, it tries to hang on to your mind, you know, and and uh, sometimes we, we play the uh, gospel songs in the car, but then when we get out and walk, you know, we, we hear a lot of things. We're hearing a lot of things, and we're being bombarded by television and by music on the outside, and people still playing loud music. But you can rarely run across a person that's playing gospel music. Amen. So um, let's make sure that we're, we got those spiritual songs and hymns going in our minds. And we don't find ourselves rapping and tapping and going, you know, moving to the beat of the enemy. Praise God. But we are going to look at the word of God today. And uh, I'm going to ask you to turn in your word and we'll get that song at some point before we uh, <clears throat> go off. Pastor, you got one for us? Or? Praise God. While we're getting that together, Acts chapter 1, verse 14, and Acts chapter 2, verse 1 is what we're going to look at uh, for our opening scriptures, and then we're going to get into the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Pastor, you got a song for us? You going to play it, or you going to sing it? or play it. You going to play it? Amen. Okay. Okay. So you can just praise God right where you are. Amen. God is a good God. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. God is a good God. 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 Yes, He is. Yes, He is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. God is holy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is a great God. Oh, yes, he is. Hallelujah. Thank yes, you, Lord. He is. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. 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 Praise God. Right where you are. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is holy. Oh, yes, he is. 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 Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he Hallelujah. is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a little praise break. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's always good to praise God. It's always good. Amen. Praise God. Acts chapter 1, verse 14, and Acts chapter 2, verse 1. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's find ourselves singing to ourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and making melody to the Lord in our hearts. Amen? Amen. Amen. We can always have a praise break. You can have a praise break in your vehicle. Hallelujah. You can have a praise break right where you are, right any time Amen. of the day or night. Amen. You wake up in the middle of the night, you got a praise in your heart. You can go up into a praise break. Thank God. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 1, verse 14. These all continue with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We're still in, in this unleavened season. We just, if, if we were in the old covenant, if we were in uh, Old Testament times, 
we would have just finished the seven days of unleavened bread. We had um, the Passover, the unleavened bread, and then we would be moving towards Pentecost. We would have seven series of seven weeks. Hallelujah. Amen. We would have seven weeks. And then after that seventh week, after that seventh full week, that next day would be the 50th day after 49 days, seven weeks. And then that 50th day would actually be what is considered a new beginning or a new time period where God is going to do something miraculous. Praise God. Praise God. So that... You know, we're not in Old Testament times now, so we don't even have to keep all those shadows and types. But sometimes it's good to know what they did and you can relate it to what we're doing now. Amen. It kind of gives us a, a spiritual uh, connection with what was happening. Uh, obviously, God didn't forget it because Jesus was our Passover lamb. And on the 50th day, he sent the Holy Ghost. So God was still doing, God, those shadows and types were still uh, were still around in Jesus' day. They're still around in our day. Mm -hmm. Praise, Praise God. God. God is still moving. Praise God. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost, it's Acts chapter 2, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all... Not some, not most, but they were all in one on one accord mm -hmm. and in one place. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, that's fellowship. That's you. That's unity. Mm -hmm. That is togetherness. That's when we are bound together. We're we're still bound together. We're fellowshipping. We still we hadn't fallen out with each other, even though we can't be together uh, like normal. We're still we still love each other. We still in fellowship. We still pray in the spirit. We're still linked up yes. in the spirit world. Amen. Amen. We should always be praying one for another. I know we we can't be connect, you know, right there in the presence of each other, but spiritually we understand we're connected. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So let's pray. Let's pray, Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you, O oh God, as in the day on the day of Pentecost, O oh yes. God, where they were in fellowship, they were on one accord. They were in one place, oh God. Yes, Lord, we're not in one place uh, physically, oh God, yes. but we're in one place in the spirit, oh God. And Lord, we ask you right now to send, give us a refreshing, a yes, refilling Lord. of your Holy Ghost, oh God. Yes, Lord. Let us know, oh God, that you're with us. And we thank you, oh God, for touching our heart, for giving thank our you. hearts, for giving us the unction, for giving us, Lord, uh, encouragement, for giving us uh, everything that we need, oh God, yes, to continue to flow with you to, to continue to walk boldly, to continue to hold up your name, to continue to fight the enemy, to continue to be faithful people that you would have us to be. Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, you said in all things, uh, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. We know, oh God, that you have our best interests at heart, and we thank you right now. We thank you for touching those that uh, are listening. We ask you, oh God. To bless us with the blessing that we stand in need of. Yes, we Lord. thank you right now for keeping us healthy. Yes, we Lord. thank you for our physical bodies being whole and healthy. We thank you, O oh God, that our families are doing well. We yes, thank you Lord. for financial blessings. We thank you for uh, encouragement in, in our hearts and in our minds. We thank you that the devil doesn't have the victory over us. We thank you, O oh God, for all that you're doing. We ask you right now, bless us with the blessings that you see that we stand in need of. But you said no good thing would you would you withhold from them that walk upright. Yes. Lord, right now we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 <clears throat> the title of this message is going to be Waiting on a New Beginning. You know, a lot of times if what you have right now is not what you're looking for, you have to wait. Until God moves. You have to wait on that new beginning. You know, we cannot get ahead of God. Amen. We can't get ahead of God. If the cloud, if the glory cloud that God is using 
as a pillar of cloud by day to cover us and to be there for us, to overshadow us, we can't walk off and leave the glory cloud because we're ready to, to, to make another move. We have to wait on God. If it's night, if it's midnight, and the pillar of fire is hovering over us, and that pillar of fire is not moving, you have to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. You have to mark time right where you are and make the best of what you're doing. Amen. 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 You can't out move God. We have to move in God's own time. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So the word tells us that godliness with contentment yes. is great gain. Amen. Mm -hmm. We still got to be godly. We, 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 we're content. That, that doesn't mean we're satisfied with, every, with the status quo at the moment. But we have contentment knowing that God is going to move at some point. Yes. Amen? Amen? That cloud will move yes. at some point. Because yes. God said, I'm going to take you to the promised land. Mm -hmm. And I know this is not the promised land because Moses told us we're still in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. We see the wilderness. But God has promised to take us to the promised land. So we know at some point God is going to move. Amen. Praise God. So we seem to be waiting for our next move. Waiting on our next assignment from God. So we seem, uh, so we're in a place of holding. Amen. Biding our time. Let us bide our time. Let us use our time wisely. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. Let us use our time wisely. Anytime that we're, we're stationary and God has planted us and we cannot make another move and we have been uh, put here kind of like we have, we're have we at a, a hiatus. We're a, a, a temporary uh, rest. Let's use that time wisely. Amen. Praise God. God has, hasn't abandoned his church, as we know. He's still moving us forward. Even though we're not moving physically, when Moses and the children of Israel were, were in the wilderness, sometimes they weren't moving physically, but God still had the plan of moving them forward. Amen. Praise God. It might seem that nothing is happening. But in the spirit world, if we could see, get a glimpse into the spirit world, we would see that things are transpiring around us. Praise God. Things can change quickly and drastically. So while we are here in this place, let us make the most of it. Because when it shifts, when it changes, what we could have been doing, what we could have been sharpening, uh, what we could have been getting better at, what we could have been uh, laying a good foundation to, it'd be time to move. And we sometimes we may look back and say, man, I could have been doing this. I could have, uh, God has put this on my heart. Or, I know I need to get better at this. Or, I know I need to de develop this skill. Or I need to do that. God has given us time to read some things, to go back and to write some things, to go back and to look at some things, and to plan for some things. Maybe it's a business opportunity. Maybe it, we don't know. But whatever, use this time. We need to look at this time as a gift from God to put us in a position to be stronger when we move again. Amen? Look at it like that. Praise God. Paul, during his incarceration in prison or under house arrest where he couldn't move about like he wanted to, Paul was still sending out letters. Paul was still doing things, moving the church forward. He did not sit idly by and just allow that precious time to be spent on, well, I wish I could be up doing this. I wish I, I wish, I, why we use that time? Use that time. Paul wrote uh, Ephesians in prison. Paul wrote Philippians in prison. 
Paul wrote Colossians. In prison, Paul wrote Philemon under house arrest. These are uh, prison epistles that God uh, allowed Paul to use while he set Paul down. Paul used that time wisely. He wasn't moping and complaining yes. and whining. He wasn't fearful. Let's not walk in fear, you all. Let's not run each other out of our houses with a lot of little nitpicky stuff that we're doing because we're so afraid. Amen? Amen. Let's not, let's not um, make things where we're here together and let's make the best of it. Let's see what, what would God have us to do. Lord, what, would you, what would you have me to work on today? It's something. Some of us complain, I hate that job, you know. And Well, now is your time to plan and to plot to maybe God was giving you time to plan for your own business. Huh? Amen. We're complaining about if you one that complains about your job. Mm -hmm. God has given you a mind. He's given you intellect. He's given we've got we've got the internet. We've got courses. We got classes on the internet. We got all kind of things mm -hmm. that you can learn a different skill, a different trade. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. America has its issues, but America also has its advantages. Worldwide information. Praise God. Worldwide web. Well. I mean, just information on top of it. It's out there. Just for the taking. Praise God. Praise God. <clears throat> new works. New ministries. New talents can be developed. New abilities. Are often discovered during times like these. Sometimes you don't know what you got until... You're thrust into a situation when the one that was supposed to be there is no longer there. Now you have to, Lord, what I'm going to do? You do what you know to do. Step up to the plate and swing the bat. You can't hit that ball if you don't swing it. The pitcher throw, you got to swing. You may hit it if you swing. But if you don't swing, I know one thing, you won't hit it. You won't hit the ball. You don't swing the bat. Let's swing the bat in the spirit. Let's do and be and work on some things. And let's make each other, uh, let's try to make each other, let's sharpen each other. Iron sharpens iron. Maybe there's an idea you want to throw off somebody. Maybe there's, you know, some things we can do collaboratively. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As the disciples anxiously waited, Anxiously waited with patience and obedience for a date and time undisclosed by a trusted Messiah. They spent their time efficiently and effectively in fellowship and in prayer. Did they not? They did. That's the key. Spend your time effectively and efficiently. And one of the main ways to do that. The main way to do that is in fellowship with God, prayer, and the fellowship with God in the Word, listening to God, asking questions of God, seeking the face of God, and then uh, putting the plan into effect. Sometimes when we get quiet, God will talk to us. Not sometimes, all the time. When you talk to God, God will always listen. Can I get an amen, amen on that? Amen. Everybody ought to be able to say amen. Amen. Give me a thumbs up on that. You, I say it, whenever we talk to God, He always listens. If I don't get a thumbs up from nobody, I ought to get one on that. <laughs> God, I know God here. God is omniscient, He's omnipotent, He's omnipresent. And He will hear you when you talk to Him. Your Father, when you talk to Him, will hear you. Thank you, Lord. And when we talk to Him in sincerity and in uh, faith, He'll answer prayer. He'll answer prayer. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So let's stay in fellowship. Let's stay in prayer. While we Amen. wait on our next. While we wait for our change to come. Praise God. While we wait for our new beginning. Amen. Let the enemy do what he's going to do. See, the enemy all along, God said, I'm going to prepare a table for you. And prepare a table for, before you in the presence of your enemy. Amen. Now, while we're doing what we do, 
The devil is still moving. Don't think the devil is going to stop. See, the power of God allows you to do what you do in spite of opposition. That's what power is. Power can move forward irregardless of resistance. That's power. If I put power on something, but there could be obstacles, there could be some resistance, but what power does, it pushes you forward anyway. It thrusts you forward anyway. That's the power of God. The devil can't hold you back. God want to move you forward, but the devil is holding you back. The power of God is going to cause you to go forward. Amen? Amen. Praise God. I just want to use that as an example. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Let the enemy lurk. Hallelujah. We're going to keep the faith. He can lurk all he wants to. Let the enemy plot. But we're going to keep the faith. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let him slander our name. But we're going to keep the faith. Hallelujah. Let him get upset. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep the faith. Hallelujah. Let him do what he do. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep the faith. Hallelujah. Let him shoot his best shot. We're going to keep the faith. That's all you got, devil. Come on. Come on with it. We're going to keep the faith. Hallelujah. Whatever, whatever oh, yeah. you do, we're going to keep the faith. Hallelujah. You can't hold us back. Hallelujah. God has given us too much to work with. I'm too blessed to be stressed. Hallelujah. I'm blessed by the best. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Satan, you can't handle me. Hallelujah. Because I'm God's anointed. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I'm God's call. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. I'm God's mouthpiece. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're God's people. Hallelujah. We're God's anointed. Hallelujah. Yes. We're God's favorite people. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the devil can't handle what God put in us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We can't lose with the stuff we use. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we're waiting on that Pentecostal new beginning. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I ain't talking about no denomination. I'm talking about the Spirit of God. I'm talking about power from on high. Hallelujah. God always has new beginnings for his people. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. We have to learn to wait on God. Job said, until my change comes. Yeah. See, change comes in many ways. Hallelujah. We know that when we leave this earth, we're gonna, our body's going to be changed. Hallelujah. We know we're going to be caught up in the air with Jesus. That's a change. Hallelujah. <laughs> our situation now, we're waiting on our change to come. God, to move us to our neck. God, what you got for me next? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I know, God, this is not it. I don't believe this is it. Hallelujah. You know, in the, in the, in the gospel, those people, they went from house to house. Mm -hmm. They didn't have big churches on every, churches on every corner. Mm -hmm. You know, when they were per, being persecuted, those people went from house to house to house, breaking bread and fellowship. Mm -hmm. Breaking bread and fellowship. Amen. That's New oh, Testament. God. Yes. Hallelujah. So, if the devil, you know, whatever he's going to do, he's not going to separate us. If we have to go from house to house to fellowship, hallelujah, we're going to fellowship, hallelujah. Uh, if we have to break bread together and meet in different places, hallelujah, we're going to fellowship. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Some of us are going to get natural blessings during this time. I know it's a downtime, and I know things. Don't look at situation. Take your eyes off of stuff. Look at the word. Mm -hmm. Don't look at CNN. Don't look at uh, whatever, whoever. CBC, NBC, ABC, BET, whoever. <laughs> Don't look at because all they're doing is fear mongering. A lot of that stuff is just fear mongering. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You look at God's word. Some of us going to get new uh, propositions for better jobs right in the midst of this. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Some of us are going to be blessed with this, blessed with that. Some of us are going to get some natural blessing as well as supernatural blessing. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Praise God. During this time, some of us are going to gain new skills, mm -hmm. new abilities. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. Some of us are going to come out of this thing with businesses. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. God, so, God bless the child that has his own. Yes. When you have to depend on other people to always do for you, Hallelujah. you're going to always be in a predicament. If the person, if the people that put you in the predicament, now got the people that be the people that get you out of the predicament. Hmm. Oh, God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. You, you watch, you, you look at TV and 
you see the news that slavery did uh, so much damage to us that we have not recovered. And now we see us we we see an indication of that. It is spotlighted in that we are the most affected by the coronavirus. That can be correlated, that can be traced right back to us being having imposed ignorance. You know what imposed ignorance is that you better not learn how to read, and if I see you reading, I'm gonna hang you. And if I see somebody teaching you how to read, I'm going to charge them $100 and I'm going to whip them 39 lashes and $100. So everybody, folk, was scared to teach us how to read and we were scared to read, to learn. But we had mavericks. We had people that were so hungry. You know, when, when a deer gets hungry enough, even though he know he's being hunted, he's going to get out there and find him a mate. He's going to get out there and try to go and find him something to eat. He's going to say, why sit I here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, when you get enough uh, unction on the inside to move mm -hmm. and your belly is, is growling rawr, rawr, and you just sitting there, you're going to say, why am I sitting here scared to go out? You're going to get out of there and make a move. God don't have to. You're going to, God put that in us. Praise God. You're not going to sit out of the bar and just wither away. Those men with the leper, they had leprosy. They said, why should we here all day? Let's get out of here because if we stay here, we know what's going to happen. And if we go out there, we might get something to eat. Uh -huh. We shall, but die, they say. The worst thing they could do to us is kill us. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. But I know if we don't go out there and try to get something to eat, if we don't go out there and get and try to get something to eat, mm -hmm. they're not going to bring me mm -hmm. a plate. Uh -huh. Ain't nobody going to bring you a three-piece dinner sitting up in your house. You got to get out and hit it. You got to do Preach, whatever Pastor. you can do Preach. during this time. You got to stay positive. Yes. You got to stay. You got to have your focus. Yes. You got to look at the Word of God. Yes. And you still got to go get it. You still got to feed your family. There is not enough Ooh, money for God. them to send us $2,000 or $1,000 every month. All right. You can't just print money. Mm -hmm. That stuff will run out. Hallelujah. America will be bankrupt yes. before a year. Hallelujah. You can't print all of this oh, money. God. You got too much money Jesus. chasing too, too, too few goods. Jesus. You got inflation. Lord Jesus. And if you got too much money mm -hmm. chasing too few goods, mm -hmm. you got inflation, uh -huh. and then if you got a depressed economy, mm -hmm. you got stagflation. Lord Jesus. I'm a business Jesus. major now. Jesus. I know certain things don't add up. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Certain things don't add up. Glory. You can't just keep printing money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. America monetary system used to be backed by gold. Uh -huh. Now it's backed by the full faith and confident, mm -hmm. confidence of the United States uh, government mm -hmm. of the United States of America. But when your debt skyrocket, other countries are going to say, wait a minute, mm -hmm. how y'all going to pay this back? Right. Mm -hmm. mm. Praise God. Praise God. Hmm. Gain new skills, new abilities, new ideas. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Some people might even learn to homeschool and you say, and say, see, God, he's taking it, he shut the school down, which is good, because they tell me a lot of times in our, some of our schools, the boys can't even wait to get out. And when, as soon as they get out, they drop the pants, take the, drop the pants, and you see the behind. And, you know, soon as the bell rings, maybe we need to rethink this, this thing. If the public food system is doing our children like that, maybe I need to, See how I can homeschool my children. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pastor. Oh, I can't do that. Yes, you can do that. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Mm -hmm. Many people have done that, and people are doing it right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pastor. Oh, I don't see how I can do that. Mm -hmm. Well, Peter couldn't see, couldn't see how he could walk on that water either. But when you keep your eyes on God yes. and you keep the word of God before you, you can do the unthinkable. Praise God. 
Thank you, Lord. Now, you know, and for any teacher that may be watching me, this is not, that was not against you. We got brilliant people. My daughter-in-law is a teacher. Uh, I know I have in-laws that are teachers. I mean, brilliant teachers. Teach their hearts out. But it's not their, it's not their problem. You got to bring, that child's got to come to school. He has to have an environment that has, is making him, make conducive, conducive for him to learn when he get there. He has to get proper rest. He's got, they got to give him something to eat when he's there. You know, he can't be fussing and fighting and all this. And he has to come from an environment yes. that is conducive for learning as yes. well. Mm -hmm. And when he gets to school, sometimes we have to deal with issues before we can even teach him. Right. Mm -hmm. You can't teach a hungry child. You can't teach a distressed and worried child because you just saw somebody get shot or this or that. First of all, sometimes you have to deal with situations. Mm -hmm. You know, and when, if we can get them, the better they get to school in a main fr mind frame of, of you know, mm -hmm. of uh, studying and learning, the better it's going to be for all of us. Amen? Yes, amen. But um, I say that because we have termites in our school system foundation. The foundation is an issue. It's a foundation. It's a systemic problem with issues. You have moving targets when you're trying to meet certain criteria. You're trying to hit it, but at the same time, they're moving it. They're playing a game with you. Praise God. Praise God. But we're waiting on our new beginning. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Waiting on a new beginning because I know God. Yeah. I know my change is going to come out. Yeah. I know God is going to do it. I've known him too, too good yeah. to know that he's going to leave me, that he's going to leave me in like that. I know he's not going to leave me like Hallelujah. this. I know too much about him. You can't make me doubt him. Hallelujah. Because I know too much about him. Hallelujah. I've been with him too long. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We have to trust him. Got to trust him. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1. Verse 12 through 14. Hallelujah. Waiting on a new beginning. The number seven is perfection, completion. Eight is the new beginning for another seven period, right? That's why in that Pentecost, they had seven weeks, seven full weeks, seven, 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 seven times, uh, seven, we got... 49, and then technically that eighth day after that, you know, that seventh full week, that eighth day is a new beginning. Mm -hmm. That eighth day is Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Pentecost, 50, that's what synonymous, 50, Pentecost, Pentagon. Mm -hmm. In the old covenant, under the Mosaic law, slaves and people that were in trouble, that lost everything, <clears throat> If they could live to Jubilee, Lord Jesus. that 50th year, mm -hmm. they knew my change is coming. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You go back and look at that. Mm -hmm. Thank, you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Acts chapter 1, verse 12 through 14. Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, the Mount of Olives which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey. And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room where Peter, where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Nathaniel, Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon, Zealots, and Judas, the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with, the bro and with his brother. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Praise God. So fellowship, being at the right place. Mm -hmm. Amen? Being at the right place. They had an undisclosed date and day. Jesus didn't tell them when mm -hmm. he was coming. He didn't even tell them where. He did tell them where in Jerusalem, but he didn't tell them where. And they had enough spiritual insight 
we probably ought to get in the church. Mm -hmm. We probably need to be in the upper room, in the temple. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. Praise God. It pays to obey God. It pays, it pays to stay connected, mm -hmm. to stay in fellowship. Amen. Mm -hmm. So they were together. And they had learned their lesson. Be at church. You don't want to miss church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because Jesus said that he was something was going to happen. He told us to tarry mm -hmm. until we be endued with power from on high. Amen. Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord. Somebody say one accord. One accord. One accord. See, it, you got to be in, on one accord. You can't be mad and uh, upset and have hatred and malice and envy. One, well, you know, I don't like them. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you can't be like that in God. Mm -hmm. You have to love the brother. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Praise God. They were all in one accord and in one place. And suddenly, mm -hmm. there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Mm -hmm. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it set upon each of them. Mm -hmm. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues mm -hmm. as the Spirit gave them utterance. Praise, Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Thank you, Lord. So we got to be in the right place. We got to be in fellowship. We got to be in tune with God. We got to be ready. We got to be looking for what God is getting ready to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That 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 Pentecost that they were looking for. They didn't. Even, so some of them probably had a had a an idea. I bet you it's gonna come ten days from now. Cause you know, you know, uh, Pentecost. You know, uh, it was. You know, Pentecost means 50, and you know the uh, death angel came through, and you know we had the the uh, the, the 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 Jesus went into that grave. You know, mm -hmm. Hallelujah, yeah. Hallelujah. The word that I was looking for slipped past me. Praise God, but that's all right. That devil is a liar. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But they knew. I believe some of them had an inkling that I bet you it's going to be on that 50th day. Amen? Amen. I believe the Lord is going to come soon. Mm -hmm. I believe he was here 40 days. You know, in the Passover, and he was here 40 days. Mm -hmm. And then to get to, you know, we only have 10 days to get to the 50th day. Mm -hmm. And you remember in the Old Covenant how Jubilee, how that 50, and I bet you Jesus is going to come on that 50th day. We need to be together. We need to make sure that we are all here. We need to make sure that on that 50th day, nobody misses. We need to make sure if there's any way in this world that you can be at church on that day, you need to be there. Glory Praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. Glory. That day represented a spiritual jubilee. It meant a release. It meant a freedom. It meant the beginning, a new beginning. It meant restoration. Praise God. It meant blessings, both natural and spiritual. Praise God. It meant a double portion. Amen. It meant I'm going home. Hallelujah. It meant I'm going to get all my land back. Hallelujah. It meant I'm going to get my children back. It meant I'm going to get away from all these chains. Hallelujah. It meant that God is getting ready to do a new thing in my life. Hallelujah. It meant, I believe God is going to put his spirit in us. And what God really wanted to do from the beginning, I want to abide in you. I don't just want to be with you, but I want to abide in you. I want to send you back a confidence that's going to be in your heart. Not just uh, walking on side of you physically, because I'm going to go to the Father so that if I go to the Father, then... When I send the spirit back, my spirit back, he can come into each yes. of your hearts. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He's going to be in you, the hope of glory. He's going to be in you, the Lord God Almighty. He's going to walk in you. Hallelujah. He's going to talk in you. Hallelujah. He's going to be your guide. Hallelujah. He's going to be everything that you need. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're waiting on mm -hmm. our new beginning, you all. We're waiting on our new beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's wait in faith. Let's wait because we know that God is going to work this thing out Glory and everything God. is going to be all right. Amen. Amen. So don't fret. Don't cry. Don't Ooh, worry. Glory to God. Just know that God yeah. is getting ready. Hallelujah. To make a new beginning. God is getting ready glory to do a God. new thing in this church. That. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to show out. Hallelujah. God is getting ready Ooh, to make glory. his people proud. Hallelujah. God. God is getting ready. Hallelujah. To give you the thing that you've been yearning for. Hallelujah. God is getting ready yes. to break those chains Hallelujah. off of you. God is getting ready to give you a release. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to yes. give you a jubilee. Glory. God is getting ready to give you a new beginning. God is getting ready, hallelujah, to make his people happy, hallelujah. God is getting ready to give you the desires of your heart, hallelujah. Glory. God is getting ready, yes. hallelujah, to show himself strong. Yes. See, I'm going to show, I'm going to show Pharaoh, Glory. I'm going to show Pharaoh who's really boss, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, God said, I'm going to harden his heart. Mm -hmm. But see, you have to make sure that you understand yes. God doesn't cause us to do anything. Jeez. God just allows, allows. us mm -hmm. to do our own thing if we don't want to follow him. Amen. Amen. So every man, everybody has uh, the ability to come to God. But God, since he's omniscient, he knows who will do, who will come, and who won't come. Amen. He knew that when you were born. Amen. That's Amen. why God can say we're predestinated. Yes. He can use that word. Because he knows the beginning from the end. Yes. Amen. Amen. Whosoever will, Whosoever let him come. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. So amen. We're gonna amen. We're gonna get ready to I'm gonna close and just know that we are waiting on our new beginning. We're waiting for God to change, to bring our change, and we know God is gonna move on our behalf. Amen. We're not even worried about it. We're not even worried about it. Praise God. Pastor, you're trying, you're trying to make me preach, aren't you? <laughs> that thing ain't going off by itself, isn't it? Praise God. You're trying to tell me to preach. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Praise God. But we, we thank God. We do thank God for everyone that is, everyone that tuned in and everyone that is trusting God. Yes. We all are trusting God. Let's continue to pray one for another. Let's be there for each other. Uh, call. Let's keep in keep in touch. Keep in contact. Y'all pray for us. Yes. And we're going to be praying for you as well. Amen. Let's pray one for another. Amen. We're coming out of this thing. We're coming out. And I believe we're coming out better. Yes. We're coming out stronger. We're going to be better. We're yes. going to be stronger. Yes. That little bird, as long as he's in that nest, that nest and all comfortable. He's not, he not going to jump out of there. He know when he got a good thing. Yes. But sometimes yes, God has to take yes. the feathers out. Yes, yes. That, old, that, that, that mama, eagle, yes. you know, I take all the feathers out and sometimes they might give them a little nudge, you know. And, you know, they're dropping. And you ain't no sense in looking back at that mama. She can't fly for you. <laughs> you better flap your wings or you going to hit the ground, Glory. buddy. You better fly. Yeah. Glory. <laughs> then they, they start. Yep. Yeah, I can do it. They be, Glory to God. They be soaring. Yes. You can do it. Yes. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Love you in Jesus' name. And if this blessing has been a uh, message, has been a blessing to you, we pray that you will plant a seed in living water ministry. Amen. And uh, we love you in Jesus' name. And uh, God loves you. We love you. And if you do want to uh, plant a seed, PayPal Living Water Ministry Canton.com slash donate. Okay, PayPal Living Water Ministry Canton.com slash donate. Cash App Dollar Sign Capital C H E R Y L 
capital R, capital C, 581. Now say it again. Dollar sign, capital C, H, E, R, Y, L, capital R, capital C, 581. Amen. God bless you. I love you in Jesus' name. Until next time, be blessed and know that God got it all in control. Yes. Amen. Amen.